King David knew things could get hairy at a moment's notice. His enemies wanted to cut him down and blow him away. <laughs> Their thirst for revenge was simply unquenchable. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, Colton? Yeah, Colin? Remember what Mom just said a few minutes ago? You two go to your room until you can learn to get along? Yes, well, you're making that awfully difficult. Can't you see I'm trying to film a devotional video about King David? Cool. Can I help you act out the Bible story part? Maybe that'll show Mom we can play nice together. <sighs> Do you promise not to embarrass me like you did in my last devotional video? Bro, I swear I thought that donkey was potty trained. I know. It's just that if we're going to honor God, I feel like we need to appear sophisticated, professional, like we've got life all figured out. Wait, what? Never mind. Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. King David and his troops want to bring the Ark of God back to Jerusalem, and God's presence hovered over the Ark. Whoa. When David and his troops get the Ark, they're so excited that they start singing and playing tambourines. Eventually, they bring the Ark into Jerusalem, and the Bible says... And David danced before the Lord with all his might, wearing a priestly garment. Time out. Colton, why are you dressed like the genie from Aladdin? I googled priestly garment. This is what popped up. Close enough. Then the Bible says... So David and all the people of Israel brought up the Ark of the Lord with shouts of joy and the blowing of ram's horns. <music> David's wife makes fun of him for his outfit and his dancing, but he says, I was celebrating the blessing of God's presence, so I don't care if I look silly. Wait a second. You need more ram's horn? No, it's not that. I just realized that honoring God isn't about appearing like you've got life all figured out. It's about being so joyful in the presence of God that you don't care what people think. That's deep. So what do we do now? There's only one thing we can do. 